Over the past couple of years, there's been plenty of attention given to how we pay for our water services, but perhaps less to the quality of those services. For instance, there are an estimated 400,000 households around the country affected by potentially cancer-causing chemicals in their water, and they may be completely unaware that there's a problem. Ethno O'Brien reports. Potentially cancer-causing chemicals are affecting the water supply of about 400,000 households across the country. And in places where it's at its worst, people are starting to worry. When you have children, like young children, when you're giving that to them, you don't know, like, in 20, 30, 40 years down the line, like, how's it going to affect them? Now the EU say they will take legal action if we don't remove these potentially carcinogenic chemicals called THMs from our drinking water. We have the highest proportion in Europe. Most of the European member states use groundwater, uh, which doesn't form THMs. And then there's a historical underinvestment in our water supplies. The people need to know if the THMs are in their water, and uh, Irish Water should notify people if they have a high level. Many people have never heard of trihalomethanes or THMs that come out of taps in thousands of homes across the country. But the Environmental Protection Agency and the EU want high levels of this chemical taken out of our water. Raw water, which has a lot of organic matter in it, and when it comes into the treatment system and it, is, it comes into contact with chlorine, which is a disinfectant for E. coli and for other nasty pathogens, nasty things in our water, it disinfects the water that comes to our pipes. What happens is that the water sits there for a while in conjunction with the chlorine that it creates the THMs. And not only do they affect you drinking-wise, but they also affect you in the showers, and it comes through your skin. There is a concern that exposure to high levels of THMs may cause cancer. In a joint paper, the EPA and the HSC pointed out that THMs are found to be possibly carcinogenic to humans, while the WHO recommended that THMs in drinking water be kept as low as practicable. The EU and the EPA say that to safeguard public health, we cannot have more than 100 micrograms of THMs in every litre of water. All of the standards that are set in the Drinking Water Directive, and there's 48 of them, um, a group of them, chemical ones, are set on the basis of, of health and to make sure that our health is protected. So we have to make sure that we're meeting those standards to make sure our water is safe and secure. And when you look at the map of Ireland, you can see that excess levels of THMs are a significant problem right across the country. According to the latest quarterly figures from the EPA, there are more than 400,000 households affected, from Donegal to West Cork. Here in Fintown in County Donegal, they have the highest level of trihalomethanes in the country. According to the Environmental Protection Agency report of 2015, this small village had four times the permitted levels of THMs in their drinking water. John McGlynn and his family have lived in Fintown all their lives. They've always had problems with their water quality. It's bad now in the winter time and then the summer time, then it's kind of bad too. It's full of chlorine and there's times you know, when you put on the kettle or anything and you can smell the chlorine out of it or you can taste it if you're drinking tea or anything and it's, it's not, it wouldn't be suitable for drinking but the way it is you couldn't give it to children but we buy an awful lot of bottled water here we buy it normally every week but it's costing in the region of 25, maybe 30, 35 euro a week in bottled water and with news in local media that Fintown has the highest rate of THMs in the country, John doesn't want to take any chances with the long-term health of his family. When you have children, like young children, when you're giving that to them, you don't know, like, in 20, 30, 40 years down the line, like, how's it going to affect them? Like, it's only what you're told at the minute, what they reckon is not, it's not causing any problems, you know, it's safe for drinking, but you don't know, you see it. But getting THMs out of our water is one of the many costly challenges facing Irish water. Eliminating THMs alone will cost more than 300 million euro. The problem primarily arises in supplies that um, are taken from rivers or lakes and are chlorinated. They have no other treatment in place. So putting in place something like filtration or other types of treatment, chemical treatment to remove the colour from the water is what's required. So it's, it's very significant capital uh, investment is required to do that. It's not something that can be fixed overnight. 
Work has started in Fintan to improve the drinking water. According to the EPA Remedial Action List, work should have been completed last month, but now it will not be finished until December 2018. Last year, the EPA took Irish Water to court because of their failure to complete works in Letterkenny on time. The EPA issued directions to Irish Water in respect of six public water supplies in Donegal where the works were supposed to be complete by last month or by, you know, in the, in the recent uh, few months. If they are significantly away from the deadlines and from completing the works within the relevant timeframes, then the EPA uh, can take further enforcement action. Ultimately, we can take a prosecution. But Irish Water say they are taking interim measures that will improve the quality of the water in Fintown. We will have Fintown connected to the Glenty scheme next month. That will, that will move it from a situation where there's a chronic problem to a problem uh, Glenty still has a risk of uh, THM failure but nothing like uh, that in Fintown. So that's what we committed to next month, and that will happen. That's actually happening at the moment. Uh, longer term, we are doing an upgrade to the Glenty scheme because it also has a lower risk of THM formation, and that will be completed later on this year. Inishti, County Kilkenny, also has more than the permitted levels of THMs in their water supplies. Local resident John Gilson only found out about the problem when it was mentioned online. I found an item where a local Green Party councillor brought up a question about something called THNs uh, that I wasn't aware of in the water in Kilkenny and in Inishtig. And I started to investigate that a bit and I got in touch with him and it turned out there was a, an excess of this particular chemical in the water found in a test in 2014. So I suppose it got me a bit interested in it. The water hasn't been great. It's quite heavily chlorinated and then when you taste it, there's a, a bit of peatiness to it. So we would buy quite a bit of bottled water, but again, we wouldn't totally prevent the kids from drinking it. They would drink it to a certain extent. We would just hope that I suppose if the issue was, a, a, you know, a major issue that someone would be doing something about it, that's all we'd have. Uh, but we're, we're, we're not very well informed about it, I'd have to say. Yeah. And many consumers have no idea about the potentially cancer-causing chemicals in their water. Had you ever heard of THMs, Teresa? I hadn't, I hadn't. No, I hadn't heard that it was highlighted here anyway. I might have read about it. Um, Do you worry about it or you just try and hope for the best? <clears throat> well, I won't have too many years to worry about it myself. And I've no children. But it is a concern. Yes, it is. And it's, it's a concern as to who, how they're going to rectify it. It will be December 2018 before the problem is fixed in Enishtig. Irish Water say they try and keep people informed through local media, though they have difficulty contacting people directly. We provide contributions to local media uh, to try to inform people uh, in particular schemes and in particular areas that there is this uh, THM issue. We, we want to be very open about that. Uh, we don't have an exact database of our customers and therefore it's very difficult for us to get information to all our customers who are affected in any particular area. But we're looking at that to see whether we can give more information, you know, recognising that people are, are obviously worried about it. Enniscary County Wicklow also has high levels of THMs in the water supply. Local coffee shop owner Peter Norton says the village always had problems with their water. We've had several difficulties over the last few years um, with the water, be it cloudy, um, be it being shut off completely with zero notice, or you know sometimes there's a smell of chlorine and such you know, that you get from it, or it would be like oxygenated, it's like cloudy with water coming in. Water quality is vitally important to my business. We have so many tourists who come to Wicklow because of the green, the nature. If you look at my customers at the weekend, there's hill walkers, there's cyclists. It's all about quality. I need to have quality water because we use water for our drinks, for washing our vegetables, preparing our food, uh, making coffees, everything. Is that we need water and we need quality water. Irish Water say they need a whole new treatment plant in Vartry and Wicklow and it will be 2020 before the problem is solved. In the case of the Vartry scheme, for example, which was built in 1865, I mean, it has a THM risk that's affecting North East Wicklow from Enniskerry right down to Wicklow Town. Um, we cannot eliminate that without a new treatment plant at Roundwood. Uh, that's in the planning process and it is going to take a number of years. What we can do is flag the information, have it on our website and direct people to the various advice notes from EPA and HSE so that they have all of the information that we can provide at the moment. But Peter is not prepared to wait any longer. I suppose after years of frustration, I decided to go out on my own and get in my own rainwater harvesting system. In a nutshell, 
It takes the water from the, it gathers it, it sends it through several filtration systems and it pumps it in. It's that simple. Um, but the quality of the water is just fantastic. Irish Waters say that with so many problems with their water, they have to weigh up the priorities between a risk to health today versus a possible risk to health in the future. It's important to reassure people that effective chlorination is the most important barrier to pathogenic uh, disease from, from water sources. Um, and it's really critical that we always chlorinate effectively. What we are trying to do is optimise chlorination so that we're not overdoing it and therefore creating a, a THM issue. And removing THMs from our water supply is just one of the many expensive infrastructural challenges facing Irish water in the coming years. We're dealing with an infrastructural deficit that has been built up over, over decades and we need to invest in our water supplies to make sure that they're sustainable and to make sure that they're safe and secure. Irish Water have, have indicated that they need around three and a half billion between now and 2021 to get the supplies up to the standard that's required. We think it's absolutely vital that money is set aside and is put into drinking water and wastewater services. That report was from Ethna O'Brien. And that's it from us for tonight. Our next news bulletin is on RT News Now at 11 o'clock. For now, though, from us and everyone on the Primetime team, thanks for watching.